I'd like to welcome you to my next episode of Hot Off The Press. Today is Friday and I want to wish everyone well. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and thank you so much for joining me for another video. Also, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and everybody who has been following me on other social media, including liking my Facebook page and Instagram. I thought today would be a good time um, or a good day to share my thought process and how I do my nail art. Right now you can see I'm getting started on the bunny. So I always have like a certain way that I do everything really. I'm really picky. <laughs> um, but I always try to do everything in the same manner or the same order um, just to have everything flow smoothly. I'm so glad I did not procrastinate this week and wait until the last minute to do this set because I knew drawing this bunny would take a really long time. But um, since last week everybody chose the Disney set, so that's why this week I am choosing to do the bunny. I'm basically doing everything in the opposite direction, right? Or the opposite of whatever we chose last week. Like last week we chose Disney, Blingy, and Stiletto. So this week I chose Ballerina, um, chunky uh bling or instead of bling or both i chose the chunky charms and then uh, i chose to do the ballerina shape and the cute bunny the little cute bunny so um yeah so when i think of nail art like i think backwards like instead of looking at the picture and saying oh i need to leave an outline for this or an outline for that or a gap for that um i just start with the darkest color first which is going to be on the bottom and then i go through everything and i say okay where are the highlights in this picture and what do i want or need to highlight think of how i'm going to do that and then i go through and um, add any special features like for the bunny um, I knew the white gel polish and things that I was putting over like on the face and the, the white highlights I was going to do that last because I want that to be the most visible and then all of the little extras like the little pink part on the nose and different things like that. So um, I always think in layers like kind of like an onion like okay I want the bottom layer to be all of this solid color and then like I mentioned I want to go through and do the highlights and then I'm going to go through and add any of the little tiny details and smaller details so I had a lot of fun doing this but to be honest doing it times two took me quite a while however whenever I'm doing nail art once I get the hang of it and I I get the I don't know how what do you want to call that like I get in my rhythm and I get my little groove doing it the second time isn't near as hard as the first time even though I did it the opposite direction um, you can see prior to this that I did mix the colors you'll also see here in a moment how I mix the other color to make the cheek color um, here's a really quick tip about gel polish if you ever want a color to be more transparent or like a jelly color, you could just mix it with some base coat and then add the color gel polish that you're using, whether it be, if it's something really dark, then of course, like, you know, like black, you wouldn't want to use a lot. You'd want to use um, more a base coat in your ratio. You want to use probably like three fourths base coat and one fourth black. So that way it's really see-through, but you can literally turn any gel color into a jelly color <laughs> um, if you don't want it as opaque by mixing your gel polish color with base coat. So that was my fun tip for the day. Um, I actually really like that hack, especially when people are doing the nails like the gradient nails where you go like one color and just kind of mix it with white as you go along to get lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, but if you want jelly, then you can get like darker jelly tones. And that's also how people do like the, what is that called? Um, the neon, like where you draw with neon. Well, and then you mix the color with base coat and makes it a lighter color. So that way you can go around the neon color or the brighter color uh, that was done at full opacity. So yeah, it's just, it's such a neat trick. Um, like I mentioned, you'll see it here in a second, but right now I'm just doing the highlights for the bunny. And um, I did the little dotting tool method to draw the little heart that was like a little patch on his face. And uh, I just really, really <laughs> thought these were cute. Um, like I mentioned, I've really been wanting to step up my channel and my nail art game. And this was one of those fun ways for me to do it. I saw the picture of this bunny and I just couldn't wait. Like. 
This is really one of my favorite sets to do. I had to freestyle everything else since this is only one nail out of 20. Uh, so I just decided, you know, what better than to do a French on the rest of the nails because you can never go wrong with a French nail. Um, I also freestyle the bling. So I, I had a lot of fun doing the bling and freestyling that as well. And it just, I don't know, this just turned out super cute. And I love the way that, that it worked out. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with the rest of the video so I don't babble on. Uh, you'll see how later on I do the French. I do a close-up of that. And then I also do a close-up of um, the bling. I did, not, I did not show the entire process because I didn't want this video to be like 80 hours long. So um, I just show pictures and then videos of what the bling looks like throughout the different stages that I completed it. And it just, yeah, I loved everything about this set. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm really glad that I didn't wait until the last minute because I would have been in for a world of hurt <laughs> uh, because it was just, it took long enough just editing this video. So again, I really appreciate, appreciate all of your support. Comment down below if you would wear these nails or if you really like them. Again, everything I do on my channel, these are for sale. So if you would like to purchase these nails, you can always, um, I'm always active on Instagram. I'm also active on Facebook quite a bit. So if you want to reach out to either Instagram or Facebook, or you can always email me at nanaysnailnook at gmail.com if you are interested in buying Serious inquires only, guys. Um, I will try to include a breakdown on my Instagram post as to what I would charge and why or how much, um, what the charges are for. So, again, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate all my new subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I hope to see you next time. Feels like love, Cupid made a shot, straight into my heart, now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding, feels like love, even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong, I don't know for sure all I know, didn't know what hit me when we started, I was shaking electric, Trying to stay calm and collected On that summer afternoon We were shining Like a gem in the sunlight We were riding to midnight, yeah You said, do you want to go out sometime? I said, girl, you read my mind And my world's expanding Feels like love Even though we're kind of nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure All I know feels like This feels like the sweetest breath of air Oh yeah It's amazing At the same time How you take my breath away Oh expanding feels like love even though we're kind of nervous together we'll be strong i don't know for sure all i know
Even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong. I don't know for sure, bro.